at this time Moonchild was was going on, which was him, which was his band that he he wrote for uh, for Patton, Modesky, uh, Joey Baron, and Trevor Dunn. So Larry, the drummer and cleric, went to see them in in New York, and uh, Zorn is like a real freak with the audience. Like he hate, he's so introverted, he hates talking to people. Like it's a nightmare. So he just like literally runs out of the venue, so he doesn't have to talk to anybody. Um, so but Larry got a hold of him. He's like, "Yo, I'm Larry. I'm from Cleric." And he stopped. And he's like, "Oh my god!" And then they talked for a while. He invited him out to our show uh, in that that fall. We went on tour for like a month, like just totally DIY the whole country. Um, and he came out to the first show, and that's when he was like, "Okay, that's like the best thing I've ever seen. You guys got to do a Masada song." So then we did a Masada song, and then right after that show at Town Hall, at Town Hall, when we did that Masada track, he offered me to do Simulacrum with Modesky and and Kenny, and he was, yeah. just, yeah, he's like, "It has to be you and Kenny. It has to be." And it's like, mm -hmm. okay. And, and and I didn't really know him that well. So I was like, so you have an idea. And just like every musician, I'm not going to hear from you again. Like, that's the end of that. Like, because that's what most musicians do, right? Like, like, oh, let's make a band. It's like, that's the end of that. You don't even hear We've it. We've all had those. Yeah. That's it never even comes. It's all just <laughs> cook talk. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks went by. And he's like, here's a fucking 20, 20 page score of insanity. Like, Two 15 minute songs and just nested couplets and fucking 11, 16, 13, 16, 9, 16, 7, 16. Jesus Christ. Like, looks like alien script, like Stargate shit, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and then I was just off to the races, man. And then we literally did like three records a year from that year to now. And there were a few years where there was five, I think. And I think I'm at like 20 since, since 20. 14 maybe or yeah Dude. or 2014 i think it's 20. And yeah it's like, i've been waiting for us to get to this part dude because this yeah. is the group that i mean i looked I, up your discography it was like insane i was like simulacrum God. is the group that i came across matt in and it's uh kenny growowski 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 yeah from imperial triumphant Mo mm -hmm. a, a monster on on the kit like a m m monster on that kit and <laughs> john, john modesky dude like come on modesky martin wood if you guys don't know about that shit get the fuck on it oh yeah dude, dude i've listened catch to that up. for so long that's crazy catch up it's cool so and then crazy matt connection. hollenberg on guitar and then there's a few records in that disc discography that also have trevor dunn on bass as well yep. but uh that was well, even uh, Oh, one is a quintet. So this is funny. The second record, it was like they were going to do another record that was uh, Rebo, Kenny, and Trevor Dunn as a trio, like a noisy trio thing. And so he just combined that record and took the record he wrote for them, and that became the second simulacrum. And it was literally like 10 days after we finished the first one. So he's like, we're going to do another one in two weeks. And I'm like, wait, what? Wants <laughs> <laughs> to prep. So I was just like, you're just, I, I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's just, so, it was kind of like realizing like how quickly he pulls the fucking trigger on stuff. And it's like, let's do like a quick five minute thing on Zorn real quick. Just so whoever's listening to this doesn't know. Um, John Zorn is a composer based out of New York city. He was part of the downtown music scene back in how, how, when did he start doing it, Matt? Oh, um, he's been, He's been in downtown since like 72, I think. Since 72. It is, he he kind of broke out uh, in the mid 80s. He did an Ennio Morricone record that yeah. Morricone himself was like, this is genius. And that kind of broke him internationally. And then Make It City happened. Make It City is where that's that was my origin. Right. And then he did like six records for Naked City. Um, and he's a real renegade because he got in with like the top people in music. Mm -hmm. And they were all about him. And he pretty much told them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's it's really like Zorn became one of those, he became one of those voices or, you know, voices through music that it, what everything that Matt, Matt has been mentioning uh, being this standout, you know, 
against the grain type person and Zorn was that, but he also, you know, was this composer that just like, you know, vomits music and it's all so good, dude. And so I started with naked city because I, I branched backwards from bungle through a stratosphere and kept on because i love to try and dig as far as i can you take that rabbit hole down you'll get to like carl stalling and Looney tunes and all that shit Scott. yeah and and so zorn was just one of those guys that was um this guy was just like i don't give a fuck you know and Sorry. Defiance is his thing. He's a oh, red- yes. Oh, he's a contrarian like a motherfucker. And I love it, dude. He he literally literally I, I want to call him, in my opinion, one of the most important composers of the 20th century, dude. And I he look forward and he doesn't he, he's not like a conservationist. He's like he doesn't take things as sacred. He's like, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? Don't mm-hmm. repeat anything. don't repeat anything. And he's pushing everyone around him to do that. And I, I, I'm definitely inspired. And just like Trey, it's not even like I'm going to copy his music, but just his whole model. You know, that's one thing I realized more in my 30s is like so much of what makes a musician thrive isn't just their talent, but their ability to, to contextualize their talent in a model that elevates them. Right. And that's like another level above, like just learn how to play. It's like, well, learn how to interact with a community yeah. on what you have going on. Because that's when everyone thrives, right? Right. right. Um, 